America, 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 fooled ya. Yes, there's no other country like America, is there? Get lost, hosers! I'm talking about the good old US of A and its superhero poster boy. Ah, uh, close. Getting warmer. Ah, ice cold! There we go! During World War II, timid Steve Rogers, played by Chris Evans, has enlisted in the US Army to prove that a strong soldier doesn't just mean big muscles. Well, yeah, but I should think that the private, who's the size of an 8th grader, doesn't exactly have a whole line of women waiting to come after him. Now, you got yourself a pair of these bad boys. You got yourself some firepower, my friend. Why won't you call me back, Tanya? So to give Rogers his chance, the government makes him their test subject of the Super Soldier Serum, which grants him superior strength, speed, and endurance. Dubbed Captain America by the army, Rogers heads toward the front lines of the war to take on Hydra, a group of Nazi science terrorists led by the Red Skull, played by Hugo Weaving. What you've really got with a movie like this is something that's almost unmatchable. It's a superhero plot set against a historic war backdrop with elements of sci-fi and mysticism to make it even juicier. I can't help but wonder if the director took a few pages from Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow while shooting this movie. I say wonder because I never saw that film. Evans does a great job in selling this main role of a frail kid who's jumping into a soldier's shoes for the first time. And pitted against him, Weaving makes for a vicious super Nazi that feels like the comic book villain right out of a splash panel. Though I read that the production team was trying hard not to turn Captain America into a period piece, the final product gives the film a bold and fitting approach. The culture of the time setting isn't just enjoyable, it's nostalgic and it's stylish. Where the movie obviously skimps out though is in the visual effects department. For all the glorious designs they had in mind while making this sci-fi 1940s war movie, a bit more brushing up certainly wouldn't have done them any harm. Just to cite an example, how about Chris Evans' humongous head stitched onto his double's body? He looks like a Pez dispenser! With a combination of elements from other Marvel film franchises, it brings everything together for a movie that just leaves the 1990 original in the dust. My rating for Captain America The First Avenger is a 4 out of 5. You're not going to let me end the review till I say it, are you? <sighs> Fine. Matt Damon.